Hello everybody, welcome to the Martial Arts Assault. This is the fifth part of a five part series on how to get leads through my social media investment strategy to not only convert more leads, but to increase your monthly cash flow. This is where the rubber meets the road. If you've studied and done the first four steps, you're gonna be very happy with part number five, how to convert leads into sales on all of your social media platforms. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, do share the video with others, and also if you like the video, smash the like button. Now, for our introduction. Hello everybody, welcome to the Martial Arts of Sale, part five of a five part series on how to use my social media investment strategy to not only get qualified leads, but converting those leads into sales and bottom line, increasing your monthly cash flow. Before we get into it, this is where the rubber meets the road, part five. If you've done the first four steps, you're gonna be very happy with the outcome and the results on part number five. Before we get there, if you're watching me on YouTube channel, Please hit the subscribe button below. If you like the video, smash that like button. Do share with others, and I do appreciate your feedback. Now, part number five is how to convert leads into sales on all of your social media platforms. Now, I call this the OBC, the opening, the body, and the close to the sale. I've been using this straight line method for 30 years and it works. Let me show you how. Number one is what I call the initial cold call, it's called the opening, okay? The opening is the most important part. You can't take it for granted. Just because they're following you and they like you and they're sharing your content and you make the initial call, you gotta take that very serious. Why? Because even though they're following you, they still have a defense mechanism. Nobody wants to be sold. Nobody wants to be persuaded. Nobody wants to hear a story. But we all do anyway. Does that make sense? It's an oxymoron. Because we buy if we want something or we need something, right? So this is where this the cold calling, the art of cold calling and the storytelling is going to be very important for you. This is where I'm going to be able to help you most. So you're going to have a perceived value the minute you make that initial call. The perceived value could be a good perception or a bad perception. Depending what comes out of your mouth, how it comes out of your mouth. What do you say, how do you say it? Because with a picture and a video, you can hide a lot of things, right? So you gotta have a strong perceived value. Number two in that is you have to be excited. Because excitement sells. If you're not excited about calling this potential customer that you've done all the work on and that they need your services, they're not gonna buy. They're just not. Does that make sense? So keep that in mind. Number two, when you transition in the phone call, you go up to what I call the body of the call. The body of the call in essence, it's the storytelling. This is where they see you have perceived value. They're allowing you to go into the presentation a little bit deeper. Storytelling, there's a lot involved in it. It's asking questions, talking about solutions, talking about problems, understanding the industry, understanding their concern. Really have a genuine interest in being authentic in their benefit. Like a doctor and a patient. It's like being on a live stage. You know, your live stage, and, and if you slip and fall, you have to make that fall look part of the show. No different whether you're on the phone or you're networking or you're face to face or you're doing a seminar. It still applies. And what happens here is hopefully at that point, you're increasing your value, what I call intrinsic value. Hopefully, you are learning and you're doing and you're saying a good story. 
People say they don't like to hear stories. When I hear clients tell me that, I laugh at that. Because my response is very simple. Do you go to the movies? Yes. Why do you go to the movies? Because you want to hear a story. You want to see a story. Does anybody listen to music? Or podcast show? Or watch movies on their cell phone? Or at home on cable? We all want to hear a story. So when somebody tells me they don't want to hear a story, that's nonsense. So you have to learn to tell a story and the story has to be increasing in value. Because at the end, what they originally are buying is you first. The product is the bridge for the relationship. Keep that in mind. So number two is you're increasing your value, hopefully, and you're telling a solid, strong story that they, in the end, want to own it. Like going to the movie theater. You watch the movie, you can't wait to come down on video. You want to own the video or the DVD or whatever the case may be. Now you can just go online and watch it. But you get my point, right? Now, number three is what I call the close of the call. You should be, by that point, having real value. Number two is you should have solution and real results. And number three is a win-win situation. Now, here's what I'm going to say about the close. That doesn't mean that they're going to buy from you on the initial call. But it's important that you solidify the close or the relationship at that point. Why? Because if you have to do a follow, remember the previous one? We got to get 50, uh, 25 to 50 follow calls on every platform. You want to make sure that that follow call, that they're there, they're still genuinely interested, and that they don't have buyer's remorse so that when you go to follow with them, they're excited to hear from you. They're keeping their appointments. I'll tell you something. Recently in El Paso, Texas, I'm not used to this, but I had to learn the market. I had to learn the people's mindset. I've never had so many people not keep up their, their appointments. I never had to chase so many people for business. That was my mistake, but I had to learn the environment and no more. Because I learned how to get through that now. But the bottom line is, in the initial call between the perceived value to the real value, that has to be solidified. So that when you call them, they're there. I do that all the time. I have people I met on social media, on Twitter, two weeks ago, and they're there when I call them. So you have to understand, they have to buy into you first. That's the initial call. That's the perceived value. Hopefully within the conversation, you're increasing your value by the storytelling. And number three, you're developing real value. That they want to own. That they see solutions to their problem. That you actually could help their business. That is a true win-win situation. That's what, that's what sales is. <clears throat> and I break down sales into two things. Sales and selling is a mindset. Closing is an attitude. But there's other elements involved. You have to have conviction. You have to have persuasion. You have to have confidence. You have to believe in what you're doing, in the product and services you're offering. Because at the end of the day, we are all customers. And whether we want to admit this or not, we love good salespeople. We love good stories. I know I do. If not, nobody will be buying and nobody will be selling. So let's keep it real. You small business owners, you entrepreneur, and you young salespeople, embrace the art of cold calling. Embrace the art of selling. To me, selling and cold calling is the most phenomenal profession in the entire world in my view. They make things happen. They solve problems. The good ones always offer and sell and give value. Is that you? I do my best every day to get better at what I do, to give more value to you, so that you can in turn become more valuable to your customers. That's the five steps or the five parts 
to utilizing my social media investment strategy to helping you get more qualified leads, to convert those leads into sales, to increasing your monthly cash flow, to increasing your annual revenue, to increasing your profits and generating a high return on your investment. I hope that these five parts, these five steps have been very helpful to you. And I do hope that you guys are implementing it and trying it and seeing the results. If you have any questions, you feel free to direct message me on my YouTube channel at The Paul Cruz Show. You can also direct message me on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts on both The Paul Cruz Show and The Martial Arts of Sales. You can also email me directly at the martial arts of sales at gmail.com. Before we wrap up, just want to go over it one more time. How to convert leads into sales on all, all of your social media platforms. The first is the initial cold call, the opening, perceived value. You have to be excited. Number two, the body of the call. You increase your value, intrinsic value, through the art of storytelling. And then number three is you, the close of the call. You actually develop real value. You have solutions, you have real results, and you develop a win-win situation. I wanna thank all of you for being part of the martial arts of sales. Until we speak again, I say goodbye for now, and I do wish all of you much success and true prosperity. Have a great day, guys. Bye.